Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about how I interpret drawing a Bridgman nose. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So uh, what do I mean by interpret drawing and uh, a Bridgman nose? So if you don't know, George Bridgman uh, wrote this, uh, this book on anatomy. I use it quite a bit, and, and uh, there is a lot of really useful information in here. It's one of my favorite go-to books when it comes to drawing the human body. However, Bridgman was a very, very stylized, and he, w and he, doesn't, he didn't quite draw... The, the the drawings in here aren't quite as consistent. There's not like a consistent formula. Um, there's always like some kind of interpretation or, or changing things around. Sometimes his drawings are so rough that you don't quite know what he means with certain lines, especially if you're trying to copy him and in order to study from him. So there's, there's a little bit of having to interpret what he means. There's a little bit about having to uh, guess what he means. There's a little bit about uh, just uh, tr trying to work out and, and, and feel out and, 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 and try to understand what he's trying to say. So no matter what, when you're drawing off of Bridgman, there is a little bit of personal interpretation that needs to go into when you're studying Bridgman. So when I say that this is my interpretation of Bridgman, that's what I mean. I mean, this is what I got out of drawing the Bridgman noses. And, and so uh, hopefully that's going to help you when you're studying Bridgman or if you want to have a little bit better understanding of having uh, a drawing a nose in, 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 the, in a more Bridgman constructed way. So before I begin, I'm going to show you, this is uh, what I'm going to be working off of. Uh, this, is the, this is the Bridgman nose. He breaks the Bridgman, he breaks the nose up into smaller parts, into sections like this, right? And uh, so, and, and, and if, you, if you look at a human nose, th this is the cartilage. The cartilage is, is really what you're... What you're what you're drawing, and it's not necessarily as pronounced as as what Bridgman tends to draw. But the reason why he's pronouncing and and breaking up all these all the cartilage in, in the way that he is is so that uh, you can actually if you if you study faces, if you actually study noses, if you actually study uh, portraiture, and you're doing portraiture, you will see on people's noses that these cartil car uh, the, the cartilage. If you if you've studied Bridgman, you'll see it plain as day. It's it sticks out like a sore thumb because you've you've gone through it, you've seen it, you've understood it. So I'm going to really quickly go over the the cartilage areas um, very quick, and 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 I say very quick because I've already done a a uh, a video on just laying in a nose. So I'm going to uh, link to that video. In the description of, of, of this video so that I don't have to go over uh, laying in a nose how I lay in a nose what what are the the the, uh, the general shapes I tend to use I'm specifically going to go over the the cartilage and the way that I use Bridgman in order to draw the nose using what he has drawn in his book. So uh, one of the things that I would say if you want to get better at drawing noses is go over to Bridgman's book, get Bridgman's book, and then just copy those drawings. And like I said, drawing from Bridgman can sometimes be tricky because there's there's a lot of rough stuff in there and, and I just wanted to want want to show you what how what information I came away with after studying Bridgman. So when it comes to drawing noses, uh, for the very first thing that I tend to do is uh, use my my lay-in formula that I, I said. Uh, as I said, I, 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 I talk about it in another video. So if you want to know my lay-in formula, uh, you could look at it there. So once I have the lay-in of my nose, it's, it's very basic, it's very simple. I have all sides, of the, 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 the front plane, the side plane, the bottom plane. And I split the bottom plane into the two nostril areas. Uh, I, I will do this on the front as well. So let me let me uh, come in here and do a front version. And I'm gonna 
probably do another side version with um, that slightly turned looking up a little bit let's have it look at the other in the other direction because I, I already have it one looking to the right so let's have it look to the left and this is going to be slightly underneath So this is this is my general nose shape when I when I when I tend to draw noses I tend to draw this these these shapes. Okay, so now let me re, let me actually just turn the, the 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 color down to a different color so that you can see the underdrawing is going to be different than the than the the top layer that I'm going to be working on. Uh, these are a little bit too rough. Let me just tighten them up a, just a little bit so that they're not so rough okay so now uh, is the moment of truth now I start using the cartilage so with a Bridgman nose uh, the biggest cartilage is going to be the one on the front uh, it, it's uh, with the way that he he has it it's split in two it's split here we have like this kind of shape happening here like this it's really really um, distinct so what I tend to do is uh, I, I don't tend to draw this line but I'm going to draw this line because I want you to uh, this I imagine that there's a center line and then I tend to come in here and do a V shape here and this is where it starts I do like a little V shape and then I and I make this front shape like this there to me there's a there's like it's it's it's, it's a symbol now this isn't this this goes with with the bottom part of this nose so this should connect here to the bottom and uh, it, it does connect here so like I uh, the the this shape here to me is meant to be this shape here now it doesn't have to be exactly the way that Bridgman drew it but the idea is that that this is the shape I tend to draw that's kind of the general cartilage you can draw it like this you could draw a little bit more like what Bridgman drew but I tend to make it in this shape because it fits my 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 uh, my underdrawing and then here I draw this th there's a there's like a like a little uh, shape here that comes in and attaches to the to the bottom part so here let me let me do it again it would be there's a center line and then I tend to come down here and draw this shape here like this it's a little bit like a shield and in, in here I would draw this kind of shape let's go in here do that again in the front and this actually if I'm if I'm being consistent it should really be like that then here's the nostril so this comes in and out and here's the nostril I just kind of it goes in and does this kind of spirally shape the nostril does the spirally shape nostril does the spirally shape then I do the nostril I come in and I do this and the nostril actually is thick has a thickness and it comes in and around like that I 
again, this is this can probably even be broken up into into a shape like this. I mean, once you have this, then the rest is kind of easy. Um, there is a cartilage that comes in really thin like this. Um, what I tend to what I tend to do at this point is is, is still follow my my general uh, lay in. That would be like, and the, the the anatomy here. It would probably be uh, there would be a, a little bit of a thickness here if you want. And then finally, we have the the last bit of cartilage, which is this. And and it just follows. the side of the nose that we've already created that we've set up maybe we have here the other side of the nostril this comes in here this this actually goes in here it turns e inward I believe let me see Yeah. So all of this is still, it's all a shape around the lay in. So it, it's, it's essentially this shape. And then you put these, these, um, uh, compound shapes, these these uh, more c complex shapes on top of it, um, and now you've got a little bit more of a solid uh, nose. And and what you do with this once once you have that is then you you come in, I don't know, with a brush maybe. Whoops. And you only pick out what you need. And you have the nose. Maybe that's not what we need. What I need to do is reduce this so I could see my line better so I could see what it is I need. even want that line there so then you pick and choose what what how much of it you're gonna you're actually gonna use you know uh, here we have this we could do this
you got to pick and choose which lines you're going to want to use. So even though you're drawing all that, all those uh, lines and all that construction on the nose, you in the final in the final version of whatever you're going to draw, you don't have to use it all. Uh, it really just depends on how realistic your nose you want your nose to be. Uh, and uh, all the lumps and all these things. Um, vary depending on the type of person that they are like mine's right very prominent you can you can see that bump and you can kind of see this front cartilage pretty clearly uh if you look at somebody like henry cavill his is he, you could see every single facet of all the cartilage on his nose it's it's uh, it's pretty it's he's he's a good examination of what a bridgman nose ought to look like you know that sort of thing he's he's got a very pronounced um uh, he's got very pronounced cartilage on his nose. Uh, so it depends on the type of person. Uh, sometimes the noses are hooked. Sometimes they're turned up. Uh, but the cartilage shapes should still be applied in general. You should, you should at least know. You should know the, the, the shapes. Um, and again, the, the shapes are... Uh, in this this front shape here, let me switch so I can make sure that. So there's this front shape here. There's this shape here. Perhaps this was not a good color to use. Let me see. That's clearer. There's the front shape here. And finally, there's the side shape. So the nostrils, and I, I suppose you can, I, I could, uh, I could say that um, that the the interior that that this is its own shape so you you could have this be its own little shape here but then this it does um, connect to the nostrils right they the nostrils have a, kind of like this underlying shape and then it goes around But we, we tend to start with this shape here. Then we have the front cartilage. Front shape. It's a bit of a shield. And finally this side um, there is more to it in Bridgman, this side shape, but I mean, really, you don't need to get into all the nitty gritty, right?
So these are the these are the the the, the general areas that you have to deal with. So let's take a look at the way that Bridgman broke it down and the way that we and that I interpreted. So he's got like he's he says that there's three main shapes here, at least here. This, this, and this. I've added this extra little bit, this shape here. Look how pronounced and interesting this is. Um, you can go full on Bridgman boxy, uh, this really complex shape. This is the reason why when I did it, I broke it down the way I did. Let me. So here, this shape, this shape here, I broke it down into this shield. Then we have this and it goes in and under like that, right? So that's what this is. Then we have the nostril shape, which has got the front side going across. There's an underlying, there's an underside here. He has, uh, he broke it down into this super jaggedy thing. I simplified it into under, under and inside. Then I've got, you've got this really complex cartilage thing. I just made it a shape here. This front. It's really thin and it goes in and out and all and does all that stuff in here and then it's like it's got a shaft in here like that I just kept it a simple shape like that so that there's a there's a connection here and that's it it's like it's 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 very very simple you break the I broke it down into a little bit more simple shapes than than what Bridgman did but this it, it's absolutely based on Bridgman um, it's just simpler for me to understand all the the elements of the nose when I when I broke it down this way and that's it that's me breaking down a Bridgman nose in my own way and reinterpreting a Bridgman nose so that I could really understand it uh, and, and be able to draw it myself and kind of create my own formula from really based off of Bridgman so uh, again thank you so much I hope this has been helpful I hope this uh, is something that you will find useful and I will talk to you next time. All right. Bye.